It's my pleasure to welcome you to a mighty maze. Uh, I'm Peter Wood, president of the National Association of Scholars, and this is the 14th General Conference of the National Association of Scholars. The title of the conference is lifted from Alexander Pope's essay on man. That poem, once a staple of the humanities curriculum, has fallen into pedagogical disuse, but various lines have become common currency, most notably the proper study of mankind is man, and as an anthropologist, I heartily endorse the spirit of that. Pope's essay was written in 1734, it has other cautions that seem prescient. He warns, for example, that man often reasons himself into error, whether he think too little or too much. The essay, on the whole, is optimistic, and the phrase we've taken as our conference title, A Mighty Maze, comes as an invitation to expatiate free or all the scene of man, a mighty maze, but not without a plan. In the next day and a half, we invite you to expatiate freely over the scene of American higher education. Uh, as of this morning, the Chronicle of Higher Education was expatiating rather freely over our reputation. It declares that we are struggling to keep up with technology, hurt by the economic downturn, that our membership is dwindling, that we've given up on our state affiliates, that we're struggling for support from philanthropies, that we're at a loss what to do with the ending of the Teaching American History Federal Grant Program, that we're chronically underfunded, that we're stuck with an obsolete message. We are, quote, rooted in romanticized recollections of how America's colleges operated in the middle of the 20th century before the advent of affirmative action, ethnic studies departments, and other products of the 1960s. We are, in short, a thing of the past. Our friends, Kerry Nelson, the former head of the AAUP, declares that we are composed of old men playing a broken record, and Stanley Katz is quoted as saying, we haven't been real players in years. Apart from that, the Chronicle likes us just fine. <laughs> Defeated, demoralized, broke, desperate, lost in romantic visions of the past, lacking influence, soon to be extinct as our old membership shuffles off to the grave. Well, it doesn't look that way to me. And I don't think it's going to look that way to any of us over the next few days. Higher education is indeed a maze. More than 4,000 colleges and universities, a good many perhaps blind alleys. More than 19 million college students, many blindfolded, confused, and crowding the corridors in the wrong directions. Some a million and a half faculty members, many offering confident misdirection and others just covering their tracks. The maze of higher education is a labyrinth of pointless courses, curricula that have no center and no way out, trap doors of student debt, and alluring false promises of preferences. It's a mighty maze with more than one monster, many minotaurs. A mighty maze, as Pope said, but not without a plan. Sometimes it seems that the maze of American higher education was designed for no better purposes than to demoralize students, debunk the claims of rational inquiry, and dismiss the importance of Western civilization. But that's not quite right. The university remains, despite some grievous faults, an essential institution. And for better or worse, it is where we sustain from generation to generation the highest aspirations for our nation. We would be hard put today to say that the institution holds fast to that plan, but it is in fact the only real plan. Today we begin our expatiations with a panel that offers an overview of the National Association of Scholars' current research projects. Then after a break we will present the Peter Shaw Award to an outstanding scholar and move into our second panel on the battle over racial preferences. There's a reception afterwards to, to which everyone is invited. Our tour through the maze continues tomorrow morning with a panel 
on the higher education bubble, that uh, shimmering surface of inflated prices, expanding debt, and the illusory substance that appears poised for a crash, maybe more thundering than the one that brought down the securitized home mortgage market a few years back. As Pope said, and now a bubble burst, and now the world. Next up is a panel that divides the new civics and social justice from the older meanings of those terms in higher education. Here we will look at the maze as King Minos meant it when he created it, as a device for imposing an oppressive political order and repealing freedom. At lunch tomorrow, we will confer the Sydney Hook Award, our highest prize, and we will hear from Steve Malloy, who is one of America's most vigilant detectives when it comes to false claims packaged in academic veneers. He is, among other things, the muckraker-in-chief of junkscience.com, and he will speak on sustainability in the college petri dish. After lunch, we will turn to our breakout sessions and then our concluding panel, Wither the West, which should be among our most interesting. Those of you who are staying for the banquet tomorrow night, and I trust many of you are, are invited to a reception that begins at 8.30. Dinner is at 7. We will award the Barry Gross Memorial Prize at dinner and hear from one of America's most keen-eyed social observers and literary giants, Tom Wolfe. The National Association of Scholars spent most of its institutional life in Princeton, but we were founded here in New York City 25 years ago. And in 2012, we returned home by moving our offices to Midtown Manhattan. Happy 25th anniversary to us. Though we're not going to spend too much time looking back, we will instead expatiate free over the challenges of the moment. And to help us begin that expatiation, Robert Paquette, professor of history at Hamilton College and founder of the Hamilton Institute, one of the very best of its kind in the country, and scourge of ideological nonsense, will lead us off with our panel discussion on what we're calling the illiberal arts. We've created brief videos as appetizers for each of the sessions. Again, welcome and cue the video. <laughs> 